So the main thing that I uh, want to see is I, I'm looking for my inside and my outside function. Um, so I'm going to say that my inside or my outside function is x cubed, and if I plugged a function inside of x cubed, which would be h of x, I would get one minus two v over one plus v. Would everybody agree with that? And remember, we're looking for the compositions. G of h of x should give you f of x. So before you even get started, make sure that your inside function, when plugged into your outside function, is going to give you your original function. right? And therefore, we know, OK, this is where we can move forward, uh, move from. Again, remember the chain rule. We need to know the derivative of both of these. So g prime is fairly basic. That's just the power rule. However, h prime, you realize that we now have to do the quotient rule. right? So again, we could break this up into you know, two different functions if you like to. Obviously, just for this case, um, we need to know if we said that that's like wx and that's v of x, you can um, now apply the quotient rule. So h prime, which might take a little bit of work, is going to be basically the denominator, which is g of x. So it's going to be 1 plus v times the derivative of the numerator, which is just going to be times negative 2. And then we have minus. You have your numerator. 1 minus v, or 2v, sorry. And then times the derivative of your uh, denominator, which in this case is 1. And that's all over your denominator squared. All right. Now, obviously, we're going to want to simplify this. And on your quiz, I do say simplify. So basically, I'm not, it's OK if you don't, you can leave this as a squared. Um, but we would like to simplify the numerator, combine, collect like terms as much as possible. So h prime of x, let's just uh, simplify this. So therefore, that's negative 2 minus 2v. Uh, let's see, minus 1 plus 2v all over 1 plus v squared. I'm sorry, that's not x. This is all v's. So therefore, you can see that I end up with a negative 3 over 1 plus v squared. So to find g prime was fairly simple. To find h prime took a little work, right? So it was a chain rule and then power and quotient rule. But now I can just, I'm sorry, now I can just apply the chain rule. So the chain rule, I basically need to take my derivative of my outside function. So f prime of v, I don't know why I keep on using x's. You're going to take your derivative, which is 3, um, plug in your inside function. So 3 over 1 minus 2v over 1 plus v squared. And then multiply that times the derivative of your inside function, which is a negative 3 over 1 plus v squared. And then obviously, we can multiply these two numbers together and really can't. multiply the rest of them. So therefore, we can leave with a negative 9 times 1 minus 2v over 1 plus v squared times 1 over 1 plus v squared. And that could be your multiplied product. And when I look at, so they actually Multiply 1 plus v. Oh, OK. And then, all right, so what they simplified is they brought those down. Negative 9, 1 minus 2v. These are like terms. So it's 1 plus v squared times 1 over 1 plus v squared. So therefore, these two multiplied out is going to give us a final answer of negative 9 times 1 plus 2v squared over 1 plus v to the fourth. But that is simplified. You don't need to expand those out any further. Yes? Is 